I'm Cutscene Cutie, and I'm here to tell you why Diddy Kong Racing is better than Mario Kart 64. Some people think Mario Kart 64 is better than Diddy Kong Racing, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that nostalgia is super hyped up for Mario Kart 64, and I think it was more available to people, so people just like it more, they think, because it's nostalgic. But guess what? Even if you've never played Diddy Kong Racing, and you didn't play it when you were a kid, it doesn't matter, you can still play it, and you can still develop nostalgia for it. It is never too late to develop nostalgia. It's never too late to develop nostalgia. Butterflies! Butterflies! Yes! We got frogs, we've got bushes, we've got frogs, we've got rainbows, we've got trees, we've got more rainbows, we got, we got elephants on flying carpets, wearing vests. Diddy Kong Racing doesn't have an annoying thing like in Mario Kart where the people that are losing get these handicaps so they can catch up with the winners. It's not fair. If I'm skilled, I'd like to win. Please, thank you. Mario Kart 64 has great replay value because you can play it with your friends over and over and over and still have a good time, right? Well, Diddy Kong Racing has great replay value with or without your friends. With your friends, the multiplayer races, the mini games, the tournaments, those are all super fun. And the way they build it into the game is perfection. Diddy Kong Racing's music is amazing. And if someone says, hey, Mario Kart's better because it has better music. Well, guess what? That's not necessarily true because Diddy Kong has amazing music. It has music that is great and you will love it. And the only reason you don't remember it is because people are shoving Mario Kart 64 and Stardew down your throats 24 seven. And yeah, they've got Rainbow Road. We can't be Rainbow Road. Okay, let's be real. But Diddy Kong Racing has great music. Remember the TT theme? The TT theme gets me gets me hype. One of the best parts about Diddy Kong Racing is that there's a campaign. Mario Kart 64 doesn't have a campaign. You can race solo player and win first place, but there's not an adventure. There's not different levels you get to drive to and different people you get to meet and Mario Kart 64 is lacking that adventure. It's lacking the mystery and the magic. It's fun, yeah. It's fun to chill with your friends and play Mario Kart and get really amped up and throw stuff at each other. But Diddy Kong is for everyone. It's for when you're with your friends, for when you're with yourself. It's so much fun. Also, it should be mentioned that you get to race in not only a cart, but a plane and a hovercraft. You get to race on water, you get to race in the air. Have you ever been to Disney World? Well, there's no need because you should just play this game because that's how beautiful this place is. And don't get me wrong, Mario Kart 64 is a great game and I am nostalgic for it and I still play it probably more than you. If you haven't played Diddy Kong Racing, I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10. Well, if this were like an official rating, I don't know if I'd say 10 out of 10, but 10 out of 10 is how I'm feeling right now about it because I'm all 